Welcome back to Doko's Corner. It's been a while since I did one of these, so we got a massive update today. I got a few new movies. So, uh, yeah, let's start it off. Okay, we'll just grab a couple of these, see what we got. Okay, first batch. We got kind of windy out today. Stop blowing! Uh, we got Vin Diesel, Bab Babylon AD. Uh, it's been a while since I watched this, so I can't really remember if it was good or anything. So, yeah. Uh, next, we got uh, Sean Bean's Black Death. Uh, again, I have not seen this one, so I can't really comment on what's it about and what I thought, thought about it. Uh, next up, we got Orphan. Uh, it's a horror movie, and uh, it's actually quite good. If you like scary little girls. Yeah. Uh, next up, another horror movie. We got The Last House on the Left. Yeah. Cool little revenge movie. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. Uh, next up, we got Matthew McConaughey, Ed TV. Uh, also, it's been a while since I watched this. It, it's kind of eh. It came up, uh, I think it came out the uh, same as The Truman Show, and they both have like the same premise. And The Truman Show is much better. So, yeah. Uh, next up, we got a Overbull movie. Uh, it's Blood Rain. And the uh, only reason I bought it is because, one, it is a video game to movie. And uh, secondly, Christina Logan is hot. Redhead. Uh, next up, we got a movie from the director of Old Boy. It's I Saw the Devil. I haven't watched this yet, but I really like Old Boy. So uh, hopefully this will be good. Okay, next batch of movies. Whew. Got a lot of movies. Next up, we got The Last Airbender, uh, the movie based on the cartoon show on uh, Nickelodeon. And uh, it's okay. Uh, it's not as good as the cartoon show, but uh, I find it kind of hard that you can fit the entire first season of Avatar in a 1 hour and 39 minute long movie. Uh, they do cover a lot, so yeah. And I don't think they're gonna do the book two or book three of Avatar. So next up, we got Jason Statham's Blitz. Uh, I really like Jason Statham. He's a cool guy. He's a manly man. So I haven't watched this, but I will someday. So we'll see how it is. Okay, next up we got Nicolas Cage and Eva Mendes, who worked together on Ghost Rider. We got Bad Lieutenant, and I uh, haven't watched this movie either. I have seen the trailer, and it looks kind of cool, with a uh, drugged out Nicolas Cage, and uh, Eva Mendes is always hot. So. Next up we got a movie that... It's not that good, but I got it cheap, so what the hell not. It's Clash of the Titans, and uh, uh, it's not that good, but it, it I got it for a dollar, so that's worth it. So, fuck it. Uh, next up, we got a movie called Bitch Slap. Uh, I think it's kind of a grindhouse type-ish movie. Uh, I thought the box art was cool, so I got it. It was only a dollar as well. Like, most of these movies I got at my local uh, video rental shop. These are all ex-rentals, and I got them for a dollar a piece. So that's why I have so many movies right now. So yeah, I thought those looked cool, so... Uh. Next up, we got a animated movie that is not made by DreamWorks or Disney or any of these. It's Planet 51, and I thought it was uh, 
I watched it and I thought it was really funny. The whole, uh, like, what could you say? It's like a reverse alien invasion movie. Like, a human comes to an alien planet and he is treated, treated as the alien. So that was really funny. So, yeah. Oh, next batch. We got Ben Affleck in The Town. I've heard a lot of good thing about this movie. But I haven't even watched the trailer, just heard that it's quite good. So, yeah, why not? Next up, we got Anthony Hopkins in another Exorcist movie. I have a lot of watched a lot of Exorcist movies lately, like... What did we watch? We watched the last Exorcism of Emily Rose, and we watched the... The Devil Inside, which sucked beyond belief. The ending is really, really bad. It, like, cuts right off. Fucking sucks. So, it's the right, anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, I haven't watched this either. But, yeah. What's the other one I watched recently? Constantine. I don't know, it, does that, like, is that an exorcism movie? Yeah, why not? Uh, next up, we got Jeff Bridges, Matt Damon, Josh Brolin in uh, True Grit. Another movie I've heard of. I watched uh, the Nostalgia Critic uh, do a comparison between this one and the old one, and uh, I thought this one was better. So I thought, why not? Why not give it a try? Next up, a, another horror movie, a vengeance movie. It's I Spit on Your Grave. And it is really brutal. Uh, the rape scene in this one is is really brutal. But uh, these guys really do get what they deserve. Shit. So yeah. Uh, then we got a another horror movie. Uh, one that I think is really funny. Uh, from Sam Raimi, director of Spider-Man: The Evil Dead. We got Drag Me to Hell. Uh, this is is both terrifying and hilarious at the same time. It, it's so gross. Like there's one scene where this girl gets a nosebleed and it just sh sprays out in like two three meters. Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's so gross, it's so funny. Check it out. Oh, I think I'll have to do this in two parters. So, yeah, we'll cover this pile in the next episode, and I'll just do these last ones here. So, next up, we got Kevin Sorbo and Danny Machete Trejo. Yeah, that's a real beat, it's really out. We got Pool Boy Drowning the Fury. I haven't watched this yet, but I have seen the trailer, and it looks really silly. And, I don't is it supposed to be like a grindhouse movie? I don't know. But Kenneth Sorbo, dear God, there's an actor who can't act. Like, what did he do? Hercules? And what was it? He was in Meet the Spartans? And I saw him in one episode of Two and a Half Men. So, yeah, he getting his own movie. Uh, we'll see. I'll watch it sometime. Okay, next up, uh, another Nicolas Cage movie. It's Drive Angry. And uh, this is not the 3D version. I don't have a 3D TV. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a Ghost Rider-ish movie, like this guy comes back from hell to save his granddaughter, because well, his daughter in return was offered to Satan or something, yeah. So it's kind of cool, so check it out. Uh, next up we got Denzel Washington's The Book of Eli, and this is a really good movie. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a typical post-apocalyptic movie. Uh, when I saw this, the first thing that came to mind was Fallout. So, yeah, if you like Fallout and like post-apocalyptic movies, check this out, it's really cool. Next up, we got from the producer of, no, from the director of Pineapple Express, we got Your Highness. Medieval times didn't have that much curse words, I believe. So, I don't know when the word fuck was uh, invented, but I don't think it was in medieval times. 
like yay fuck you or something I don't know uh, okay so this was really funny uh, it's got all the weird stuff like dragons and giant snakes and all that shit with oh yeah he's like this guy here he's really perverted and like a coward but yeah, it's really funny check it out okay lastly for this episode we got Valhalla Rising. I think this is a Danish movie. Let's see here. Uh, I think it is Danish because it's a Danish uh, director, and I think it's Michael Madsen. I can I can't remember. Is he Swedish or Danish or Norwegian? What do you think? I don't know. Uh, my girlfriend is like off camera watching me do this. <laughs> uh, yeah. So like Michael Madsen. He, uh, what did he play? I think he played a Bond villain in some movie. Wasn't Casino Real? Ah, I don't know. Fuck it. So he plays a like a super strong Viking. Uh, I haven't watched it. I'm just breathing the back here. So yeah. Uh, I thought uh, I saw it and uh, it was cheap. So why not? It looks cool. Sponsor the industry. Yeah. Uh, whew, that's a lot of movies, and I still got a whole batch with two Blu-rays. And, oh shit, uh, I got another update to do with, uh, bought a whole, yeah, a whole pack of Wii games. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, we'll see you next time.